Hello, humans. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the latest and greatest from Adobe, the new generative video capabilities of Adobe Firefly. We will also compare it with Hotshot AI, one of the leading video generators in the community. If you're a video editor, filmmaker, or just a creative enthusiast, this update is going to blow your mind. So, let's get started. This is the website of Adobe Firefly, where they've shared information about their new video generation updates. There's so much to explore. You can use text prompts, a wide variety of camera controls, and reference images to generate B-roll. We have some examples here. We'll take a look at them because, as of now, we can't use the Firefly video generator as it's not available yet. So, we'll use the same prompts in Hotshot AI and compare both videos. Here's our first prompt, and the video looks quite cool and realistic. Now, we'll copy this prompt, paste it into Hotshot AI, and generate the video. Alright, here's our result. I think both are quite cool, but personally, I like Adobe Firefly's result more. It has more camera movements, and the sunlight looks quite realistic. Next, we have a prompt for desert footage from a drone camera and it looks like a scene from a movie, with the wind blowing. We'll copy this prompt and use it in Hotshot AI. Alright, here's our result. It's quite similar to Adobe's, but Adobe's version has better details and looks more realistic. So, I think Adobe is the winner here as well. Also, Adobe claims it generates the video in 2 minutes, while Hotshot takes around 12 minutes. Our next prompt is a zoom out from a galaxy to reveal that it's contained inside the pupil of a human eye, a detailed macroscape. Here's what Adobe came up with, and my mind is blown by how realistic and accurate it is in following the prompt. Plus, the video looks quite premium. Now let's see what Hotshot offers. It doesn't show the galaxy, and while the eye looks good, Adobe's result is clearly better. So, I think Adobe is the clear winner in my observation. Let's see when Adobe launches this for the public. I really enjoyed this comparison, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.